say that you're in the paint business and you, you have very few competitors, but you have one competitor specifically who will undercut you on price almost always. Um, and they definitely can undercut you on volume of available certain types of paint. And I feel like everyone thinks lead paint's good now. And what I've concluded is that lead paint causes a certain texture that makes it look like Renaissance type art. And so um, it's not necessarily that it's good. It's definitely less perfect. And so it adds an imperfection to your painting. Um, but it's more that other people used it and they were that good at painting. So um, I'm still trying to decide if lead paint's a good thing. Anyway, so um, say that your competitor undercuts you on price everywhere and you need to compete against them. So the only way to compete against them is to take a loan and to take a loss in order to um, compete against them because they're growing their business according to the stock market, right? Kind of like Splunk, they're growing their business. That's why they have so much debt. Um, but the real thing about Splunk is that Splunk is about data. Splunk is the best at data and other people can do Splunk, but not really like Splunk because Splunk's just better. And so um, does data matter in the future? Data matters now, which makes me wonder if data is going to matter as much in the future, and I think it will. Um, but is visualized data going to matter as much? Um, I mean, or is the invisible hand going to matter more? And but I do think that Splunk does um, non-human interactive AI. Also, I think I don't know. Um, anyways, so. Should I put blue in the background? I think I need to. I, I don't know what all I'm gonna do in the background. I still have to figure out what it's gonna look like once he's glowing and then I'll figure out the background. Um, because he sure looked brighter before the background was dark and the whole point of having the background dark is to make him look bright and he doesn't look bright. So hopefully once I get new paint, it's gonna make a difference. Anyway, so um, what, what, what do you do if you're a small business and your competitor has all this extra money to lose and and they're your co competition so they're going to beat you on price always even though there are so few people you you think oil paints are so expensive um and they are but that's because um because they come from places certain ones they like they're raw pigments that you you have to get from france or from italy and so um, there is a raw material block at some point of certain types of dyes, but there are other types of dyes that are less expensive um, or that are that are less um, they don't require raw materials. Okay, so this is this is kind of a great example about the nature of the world, but also the nature of the stock market, um, where the stock market, um, And can 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 we leverage to the point that it's not fair anymore? I don't know because I, I feel like my bill at this other play at this other website was like shockingly low. Um, but it was it, but compared to Michael's, it's almost the same price if you get the best deal ever that day, which is hard to get. I mean, Michael's like the secret to Michael's is that they don't give you a good deal very often unless you're that guy that gets obsessed with the coupons um so um all right so i'm talking about cheap joes and i'm talking about uh who dick blicks because dick blick wants to show you their dick they want to make sure the prices are that low which makes me think they there's no way they are that more that much more efficient um i don't know i think that I guess, I guess Joe's can be less expensive on some things, but um, Amazon is sitting there going, I'm just keeping the price of my paint super high because what happens if other people can't get certain pigments? Um, because what happens if you can't get them imported from certain places? Because, um, oh, my supply, 
ran out and, or my factory shut down or whatever. It, it's crazy how much the, the paint business is, uh, back in the day it was a, a really big business, uh, back in Da Vinci's day, and, and but they, they were painting with like a lot of the earth materials. Um, they, 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 would, they would look at my palette and be like, this is, I'm gonna cry because I can't believe that you have that blue um, and you have that many blues. It's crazy.